is now back. Fractionation is actually an old process, but with new and modern techniques being added to the picture, we can do more than ever with a single part of the corn kernel. There are several types of milled corn products that come from the bran and the germ. Grits are the coarsest and primarily used in cereal, but can also be found in pet foods. Bright yellow meals are used in a wide range of food products and pet foods. Milled to a uniform, consistent texture, Corn flour is also used in a wide variety of the foods you eat. In fact, corn can be processed in different ways and used in all sorts of products. You probably wouldn't be surprised to see corn listed on your cereal label. But if you really start checking, you'll find corn in everything from paper goods to meat products to crayons. This means we use a lot of corn. In fact, just in this one milling facility alone, a whopping five billion 314 million, 400,000 kernels of corn are milled here each day. If laid end to end, the corn kernels would just about circle the earth. And this mill produces enough corn product each day to batter 960,000 corn dogs or to feed 5 million children in third world countries. That's right, the innovations used in the milling process of corn means that companies like this one can make corn soy blend and soy fortified cornmeal that provide food aid for famine relief in parts of the world that need help. This is important because corn is a healthy part of a nutritious, balanced diet. In fact, corn is full of cancer-fighting antioxidants. Corn oil can even lower cholesterol, and it's becoming even more popular because of the trans fats found in other oils. Another valuable product made from corn is ethanol fuel. Ethanol is a renewable energy source that has less impact on the earth than gasoline by reducing greenhouse gas emissions by about 50%. So Adam, I hear that your ethanol plant is a little different from others. How so? As you've seen earlier, we take the best part of the kernel of corn and make human food. We take the remaining part of the kernel, which is basically starch, and make fuel and animal feed with it. So how many gallons per day do you produce of ethanol? Uh, roughly 160,000 gallons a day. Wow, that could fill up my parents' car for I don't know how many years. In fact, use of ethanol lowers the price at the pump by almost $1 per gallon. And Wisconsinite should be proud to know that the Badger State has nine ethanol plants, producing over 500 million gallons of fuel. That's enough to equal the imports of oil from Saudi Arabia. To top it off, when ethanol is made, a co-product created in the process is a highly nutritional animal feed ingredient called distiller grains. Where are we now, Adam? Uh, we're in the DDG storage facility, also known as dry distiller's grains. What's DDG? DDG is the dry part of our leftover fermentation process that isn't fermented into ethanol, which you're holding there. We dry this product and we sell it uh, internationally in Wisconsin here for dairy cattle and beef cattle. Are these the only two products? Nope. If we don't dry it, we'll make wet feed. This is the same feed, but it's not gone through our ring dryer. And this is typically sold in the state of Wisconsin here for dairy cattle and beef cattle. Are any of these products used for other animals? Um, some of the dry product is also used for poultry and swine. This company and its employees, like many in the corn industry, are dedicated to making this great renewable energy and they're also committed to being environmentally responsible. They've pledged to reduce their energy consumption and to reduce their water consumption by 25%. And they're doing it all by cracking into the power of corn. Even better, it's looking even brighter for the future. So you see, the parts really are worth more than the whole when it comes to corn. So we started with the small kernel of corn and we found out that when we can crack corn kernels into even smaller parts, in order to feed the hungry, feed our animals, use it in thousands of products, and create a greener energy source like ethanol, all while being environmentally friendly and creating jobs for our workforce. Now, I might sound a little corny, but I think I've proven that little things can make a big difference in our world. Huge for Into the Outdoors, I'm Adventure Team member Stefan. See ya.